walking around the outlet collection at Auburn, Washington. Hey guys, uh, I came out here to uh, Seattle Outlet Mall just so I can walk around and show you guys the uh, Seattle Outlet Mall. But as I entered the parking lot, I saw this bunch of food tents. Uh, they seem to be more of a Mexican food related. So I'm gonna go over there and check it out and show you guys uh, what's up with these uh, food tents over here in uh, outskirts of the Seattle Outlet Mall. All right guys, um, I'm about to walk around, but um, let me show you around um, Seattle Outlet Mall. You can see in the Seattle Outlet Mall, there's uh, lots of stores around the edge of the uh, Seattle Outlet Mall. You know, as you can see over here, there's a Mexican restaurant, there's a McDonald's, there's some teriyaki, some Wendy's over there, there's a movie theater over there, and there's a Chinese restaurant. And then on the other side of the mall, there's Walmart. And But right now, to go and check out this um, bunch of food tents right here. Let's see what they are. I think they are food tents. I could be wrong though, because uh, I'm looking right now and they look like food tents and some other things like clothes, handbags, things like that. I don't think they are all food tents. I was gonna go directly into the mall and walk around and show you guys the mall, but you know, this kind of intrigued me. Because uh, I like uh, things that are kind of spot meat related. So that's why uh, I like coming out here. But I see that there's some music playing over there. As you can see over here, they're selling like stuffed animals, some knickknacks. I guess this is not all food. This also is uh, some jewelry, a lot of uh, porcelain. Yeah, I see those things in Mexico. See this lady selling jewelry over here. This guy selling uh, churros and uh, curly fries. Papa's Fritas just means French fries. And these people are selling some clothes. And this is a young lady selling jewelry. Some people are still setting up. Selling some fruits. Some hats. So it's kind of like a swamp meet. It's not more like a food festival. I thought it was more food related, but it's more swap meat related. As you can see, there's like Pikachu, some necklaces, some lanyards, some keychains. Let's go down here. Oh, by the way, um, over here in the uh, Seattle Super Mall, there are these uh, car charging stations for non-Tesla. And over there, those are all Tesla. Yeah, so let's check out over here. Uh, this guy is selling some food. Oh, it's like groceries or candies or something. Just this and that, gumballs, some takis. I don't know, I don't like those takis very much. They're too spicy. And here selling some hats, little cars. Oh, here's some restaurant here. It's a pupusas. That's El Salvadorian. Yeah. I'm not sure if you guys can hear my voice because they got music blaring on the background. Yeah, so this guy's selling some uh, food too. Sopa, quesadillas, flatas. And this person selling barbacoa. That means barbecue. Yeah, lamb, sheep. Here's a bunch of uh, things not for food related. Just a uh, little stuffed animal, keychains, millennials. Some selling, uh, some, I don't know. Looks like, uh, looks to me like uh, they're um, Amazon returns or something. He's selling a whole bunch of stuff. Vapkin cleaners, 
mixers, uh, batteries for tools. Huh, that's different. There's some Bluetooth speakers. And here's a food truck right here. Taco food truck. They're selling everything from tacos to burritos. Everything. Oh, here's another uh, food trailer. Some mango does, fritas. Lots of stuff. But uh, this guy blaring music, so we're gonna get out of here. There are ladies selling some hot dogs and some cheese, coffees. Yeah, let's just get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here because the uh, lady uh, blasting music is too loud. I, I don't, I don't feel like being over here. Yeah, I'm in front of the uh, Sierra Outlet Mall. They call it the Outlet Collection. Read this: the movie theater, like I said, and then over here is the uh, Walmart, and then over there is uh, Panda Express. Over there, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I'm gonna walk into the mall. Yep, here we are. So, this is a um, mall that's uh, turned into a uh, outlet mall. So they sell all the stuff, you know, they sell them at the outlet stores. But then they have some knick-knack stores like this, like, you know, they call it safari, but this is for kids to come need? and play. And right over here, you got Johnny Rockets. That's an old-fashioned hamburger restaurant. And you got Adidas. So we'll go down this uh, path right here and then go around the whole entire thing before we go into any of the stores. All right, here's Dave and Buster's. Dave and Buster's uh, just kind of like a round one. This sporting goods store right here, Pro Maze. It's just um, not a not a big deal. They just sell hats and shirts and stuff. But this uh, grill finders, they are uh, high-end uh, sports gear. They mostly uh, shoes though. Then there's Vans outlet, uh, just like any other store. H and M. I doubt that this is an outlet store. I don't see anything where it says uh, it is outlet store. Either is this one, Torrid, Marusis. Yeah, some of these don't even say outlet store, but this whole thing is supposed to be outlet though. I mean, almost every mall has this store. And here's Lids. Huh. They put this little uh, writing thing for little kids. And it looks like they went out of business. They're trying to remodel this thing. Hmm. Not really sure what it is. But right over here is the food court. It's uh, about the same as the uh, other mall. But one good thing about this food court though, it does have um, a Mediterranean and Filipino food, which is kind of interesting. Mediterranean is, you know, like, um, meat on a stick, uh, eros, hummus, things like that. And then over here, Filipino, they'll have lumpia, you know, or they have palobak, they have pancit, and then all the others are just regular, right? Each other in the kitchen, fast food, Japanese food, you know, fast food, Chinese food, Dairy Queen, Subway, I mean, you know. And looks like uh, over here in the middle, which we're not gonna go yet, they looks like uh, they're having a uh, sports car convention or sports uh, training session. But we'll go there a little later, once we go around the whole entire mall first. So, we'll get out of this area right here. Yep, looks like it. The trading cars and selling these little 
dolls. I know a lot of people collect them. A lot of people. You know, this is all same stores, right? Cinnabon, Subway, Dairy Queen. Okay, let's get out of here for a little while. I like to walk around the whole entire mall beforehand. Yeah. Fragrance outlet. That's just a um, generic, you know, perfume store. And finish line. This this is a outlet. It's chain. They sell all different kind of shoes. And Route 21. They also have that over in South Hill Mall, right? But one thing they do have here, this huge furniture store. Ashley Homes. Huge. Yeah. And also over here they have this thing called Gotcha. You know, it's a foam dart area. I'm not sure. I guess you can shoot people with the darts. I don't know. People think of different things to set up. And these people selling uh, cotton candy shaped like an animal. Yeah, but this is the one gigantic furniture store. I don't know what FY, FYE is. Huh, they don't have that uh, anywhere else. I guess it's a store somebody made up. Looks like they said t-shirts and knickknacks. Funko. Funko are those dolls. So, hey, there's something over here. I haven't seen. Oh, this is a kids play area. And then see, somebody else made up their own uh, sporting goods store. But I see something over here. Let's see what it is. Oh, that's weird. That right there says bite on a stick. Artist, LA and event center. Oh, oh wow. Glutton free food truck inside the mall. Huh, that's weird. Unlock the con. They have food truck inside the mall. Isn't that weird? Huh, joystick. Come on in and enjoy the bite. So they sell all this stuff. Basket and chips, veggie kebabs, mac and cheese, fruit kebabs, mini corn dogs, mini cheeseburgers, chicken and waffles. Hmm. Chicken skewers. Oh, by the way, um, one thing I haven't told you, there's this thing called Field House over there at the other end. That's for sporting goods area. It looks like uh, right now, um, I'm not sure if it's blocked or not, but it looks like they got it blocked. But it's a field house where people go in there, play sports, lots of, sometimes there's lots of people over there. But this is interesting. It's got a food truck inside and then it's got a bunch of tables. Oh, oh that's different. And a lot of painting on the wall. Look. See, there's a food truck called Joystick inside there. It's quite different. Yeah, those things right there, the boss wear and um, body jewelry, those are independent. Whoa. Oh, I see. It looked like this um, Unlock the Con and that food truck, they're all same business. Oh, there's something, yeah, this is a place where they sell the comic things, you know, comic related dolls and things like that. And then there's a barber shop. But what's this right here? Discount Collection Depot. Huh. I wonder what it is. Let's check it out. I have no idea what this is, but, you know, I, discount. That's how much a discount it is. How much is the uh, 
luggage. Oh, it's kind of expensive. $89. It's not so cheap. No, it's not cheap at all, actually. They got a lot of furniture over here. They got some uh, air conditioner out of the box. I think it, this is what you call it. Um, you get it from Amazon Returns. So how much is this uh, air fryers? Jeez, air fryers are sixty-eight dollars. You can go to Walmart and get it for half a decent price. Here's one for thirty-seven dollars. But do you know if this thing works? Probably don't. But uh. It is pretty big. Oh, but they got all this furniture. So that's it for nine hundred dollars, nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. Whoa, furnitures are not cheap. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't think they have anything I want. Yeah, isn't that kind of weird? that they have this uh, discount item store inside of a outlet mall. Yeah, they have all kinds of stuff. It looks like that's where they got it from though. Like Amazon return kind of. But Here's a barber shop. Oh, it's really busy. This barber shop is busier than most barber shops. Look at it. Standing on top. Wow, lots of people. Lots of people. The journey, you know, that's a chain store. They have that at every mall. Spencer's. One stop resource. Wonder what that means. Hmm. Insurance Wireless, Grand Opening Resource, not sure, Hot Topic, okay. Oh, this is the uh, eyebrow, they fix your eyebrows. Serenity Beauty, what's this? I'm not sure. Huh, like a fix your face, Uniform Destination. And then you got Gab Outlet. Now, this place has been here for a while. This is a chocolate-based uh, cafe. I don't see a whole lot of people in here, but they've been in business for a long time, so they must be doing fine, right? They sell wines and everything. Geek is us. I see that that store is also in uh, Tacoma Mall. It's pretty big. They sell all Japanese related stuff. And there's a waiting dress uh, store. There's Eddie Bauer. And then we got right here, Nordstrom Rack. In the midst of it, they're selling pretzels. Okay. Like people are selling uh, handbags. I guess this mall will allow people to come in here and just uh, have pop up store. Just look, they're seeing handbags. And there's K Jewelers, Victoria's Secrets. You know, if you have a hot topics, you must have box lunch, right? I'm not really sure about box lunch. Most of the time, they don't even have much inventory. But I guess that's their strategy. And this is another part of Victoria's Secret, which is pink. I mean, this store has a little more inventory than the other store, but the one on South Hill doesn't have hardly any inventory. This one is actually uh, stuck with some inventory. This is one of my uh, favorite stores in um, South Hill Mall, but this one is not remodeled. This is uh, Bath and Body Works. 
And here's a Aeropostal. I like their stuff. I'll go check it out later. Another chain store, famous woodware. This is Essential Sense. They sell fragrance for your room. Yeah, another knickknack store. Hugo. And there's a calendar store right over there. But during the uh, holidays, they'll be in every mall. Native creation. Huh. Here's a store where it's not open. And there's a baby store. Carter, baby and kids next to uh, Oshkosh Big Osh. Oh, they just sell hats. Oh, bold brims. Brims is the uh, edge of the hat. The jewelry store. Oh, there's another independent one called Downtown. I guess they sell a bunch of stuff. This and that. Oh, this is a Tokyo store. I think this is the one that moved from uh, South Hill Mall to here. I'm not really sure if this is independent or a real T-Mobile store. Ralph Lauren. So next to the uh, real franchise store, there's also these uh, independent stores. This guy sells a uh, man uh, suits. Oh, here's uh, somebody uh, coming in again. The redoing. There's Levi store and there's Pandora. Oh, hey, here's a guy uh, making uh, t-shirts, I think. Yep, making t-shirts. Sunglass Hut. I think, I think it's just like Eclair. They sell those cheap uh, jewelry. Banana Republic. Oh, love Laura. I don't know. GNC Live Well. Yeah, so this is where they're having that uh, sports car convention or sports car trading. So we'll go there last. Then we got this uh, Burlington right here. But there is a bunch of people in here, though, you have to say. And then we have Tommy. What is this? Oh, they're selling some uh, lotions and stuff for the women. They're washing shoes. They have clean shoes. There's Canal Street. Oh no, this place is closed. But it's uh, Arts and Love. The store called Arts and Love. Huh, never heard that. Oh wow. Finally, they have a real store. I mean, real discount store, Mini Soji. I cannot believe they come in here. Old Navy outlet, Loft outlet, Columbia. So you can see the Columbia right over there. And here's another guy making t-shirts. This is in every mall. 70% off. Old Navy. And there's Outlet Land Nike. That's the most popular. There's a ton of people inside there. And this right here is a shoe department. It's not that uh, designer shoe warehouse. The shoe department is a little bit different. I haven't seen them in any other mall, but they have them here. The other malls have a designer shoe warehouse. And then there would not be a mall if you did not have uh, Ulta Beauty right here. They have to have Ulta Beauty at all malls. And then a little bit upscale, we got Coach Factory. 
and then we got Michael Cole. But the number one store in this mall is a Nike outlet store. Yeah, let me show you some expensive stuff. Right there, it's about three, four hundred dollars for handbags. I don't think that we're gonna be doing that anytime today. And this also is a franchise. Chicho, Chico's. I seen them in a bunch of stores. And then Guess right here. And then you got the Express Man. And now uh, we have gone wrong once, right? Because we started at this safari. Now we're back to the safari. Only part that we did not explore was the uh, area where they have the uh, sports car trading. So we'll go there next, but that area looks like it has the most people. But they have a, also have Kate Spade. Yeah, remember I told you that icing is like clear? Icing is just copy of clear. Claire is more popular. And as you can see, we're back to uh, Johnny Rockets. And this bouncy thing on a screen. It's very popular though. Not much moving parts. Just on a rubber band. Yeah, we're now uh, back over here by the food court. And right here is the uh, sports car training. So we'll walk around there. I don't know anything about trading sports cars, but I'm sure these people do. They're all being certified by somebody. Yeah. Oh, they're not just sports cars. They Some of them have Pokemon. I guess you can trade Pokemon cars. Let's see what's over here. Yeah, the food core. It's okay. It doesn't have a huge amount of people, but it does have some people. Yeah, they're selling some... Uh, cars over here also and this pop doll things yeah Funko lots of these kind of sales they had some a uh, while back in uh, South Hill Mall I think these are the same people they were selling over there but, like I said, I don't know anything about them. I'm sure uh, there's whole culture behind it. It's a big business. I know, like, a baseball cards of a, you know, famous athlete, you know. That was, like, their uh, rookie car or something like that. That can go for thousands. But uh, as you can see, you know, this mall is trying to get people in here besides uh, just having the stores, right? But man, there's a bunch of people over here. But they're all about the same thing over and over. More baseball cars, more Pokemon cars. Anything of value comes to collecting, they have it. Baseballs, lots of Pokemon, I see. Yeah, even, yeah, like everybody's selling. Wow. This car collecting is big time. Oh, this right here. Uh, you can't even see it in the midst of all this stuff, but this is the bubble key. They just sell them in a light bulb shape. But uh, there's more over here. And then there's more over here. Yeah, dealing, wheeling and dealing. Yeah. People don't even open them up. Looks like they're still in the package. I guess that's the uh, 
Look, Pokemon dolls, plastic dolls. They're selling those. A lot of Japanese stuff. One piece. Oh. Yeah, it looks like that's about it. This is the end of uh, the sports car, memorabilia cars, anime cars, trading, or oh, comic books also. They have everything, little knickknacks, little dolls, little... Yeah, it looks like they have everything. Oh, a lot of people buying and dealing and They love them. Just like any kind of hobby. Yeah, we'll go down this uh, row here. All the way down. Just say collecting shoes, collecting anything. There's a huge value in everything. I guess they do uh, baseball cars, football cars, everything. Hopefully this is their weekend hobby, not their permanent job. Because I can't imagine how they would live off this. All right, looks like uh, that's all for uh, the sports car, anime car, collecting, trading, festival. Yeah, guys, uh, this is all there is for um, uh, Seattle Outlet Mall, the outlet collection. So you guys have a wonderful day, and thanks for uh, coming on my uh, Outlet Mall walk. Thanks a lot.